Hi, I'm Alexamit from WinDeveloper. Today I will walk you through sending a mailing with the WinDeveloper 0365 mailer. In my previous video I showed you how to install the mailer. Now we are ready to start sending out mailings. We start from the 0365 mailer interface. Here I am at the mailings category, from where I can create new email templates. Let's do it. I click add to create a new template. Templates look very much like a regular email. What's special is the inclusion of tags. Tags are information placeholders to be filled in on sending the mailing. Indeed, generating a mailing is the process of merging some data source to an email template, creating a unique email for each recipient. In this demo, I will create a template for a follow-up email. This will be sent to all new users that purchased one of our products. I will get the list of users from a database. In real life, this could be our sales database. So the first thing I do is to supply my email template with a data source. I click the database icon and identify the database containing the list of new users. Here I could specify any Microsoft SQL database. The wizard will normally automatically detect the list of available databases. However, in this demo, I will be using a local SQL database for which I have to fill in the connection details. Next, we select the database table or view that provides us with the actual data. As you can see, clicking on the tables and views, I can see the data fields available to me. OK, so we are now ready to fill in our email template. Initially, this only contains a recipient tag, which we need to configure. Of course, this is a placeholder for the email recipient address. So let's click the tag and select the database field that supplies us with the recipient address. Next, we fill the email subject and body. As I go along, I will add more tags, each time selecting their corresponding database field. I supply each new tag a unique name. Note how I can also reuse tags, as I am doing for the product tag. Once ready, we can save this template. Now that we have a template, we can start sending the mailing. We launch the mailing wizard by selecting the template and clicking the mailing button. The wizard will help us review our setup, starting from the database configuration. Next, we have a sample of the data that is going to be merged into our template. Next, we can see what our emails are going to look like. From here, we can step through the data and see how each recipient will get its own unique email. In the final step, we have more settings that allow us to better control the mailing. At the top, we have the sender. By default, the sender is automatically determined from our Office 365 login. However, we can override this behavior and send the mailing from any mailbox for which we have sent us permissions. Other settings here include the ability to only send the mailing to a subset of the database entries, the ability to filter identical recipients, and the ability to keep a copy of sent emails. Just watch out not to get your mailbox flooded. So let's click go and start the mailing. Of course we are greeted by an Office 365 login. Let's fill this in. And here we go. We can see the mailing progress.
At the end of the mailing, we can use save log to keep a copy of this log. That's all. Hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to contact WinDeveloper support with any questions.